straining them. Come on, girl. So it helps a lot if your cow already knows how to lead, like Pansy here. <coughs> lead her over here to the stanchion. That's good. She's happy. She's a little on the hungry side, which helps. So she's excited to see that alfalfa. And I'll just lock her head in. Rub her. And then I'll swing this board over and go ahead and we go. Good girl, Pansy. I'm not going to walk her in real tight. She's still got a good bit of room in there. But tight enough that she can feel it against her. See, now she'll try to back up a little bit. Good. She didn't panic or anything like that. She's just taking things easy here. Enjoying her breakfast. Now, Pansy has been in the stanchion a couple times before, but not very often. She's used to having her udder handled, which helps a lot. If you get them used to that when they're quite young, um, they'll learn much quicker. And basically, you do you want to have your cows used to being handled and washed so that when they have a calf and they've got a huge udder that's full of milk and a new baby they don't know what to do with fully, just instinct, you know, they're, they're usually somewhat nervous with their first calf and not as easy to handle because they just don't know the routine yet. So it helps if you already have established that you walk into the stanchion, you're calm here, you get breakfast, it's a nice place to be. All right, so one of the things I like to do is to go ahead and wash the cow. She's used to having her udder handled. It helps if you start handling their udders even when they're just a couple days old or even within a few hours of birth. You can't start too early. So I'm going to stand up so that I have room to react in case she were to kick, which I do not believe she will. And just reach under there and just rub her a little bit. Just, just a second. She didn't react, so that's good. If she had started bucking around and kicking and so forth, then I'd try to keep my hand under there so that um, she learned she wasn't getting anything by reacting. And I'll do just a little more and again pull away and rub her back. This is just getting her used to the idea that handling her udder doesn't hurt her and that actually it's a pleasant thing. We use warm water and iodine milk nope. to wash our cows. See there, I kept it there longer because she moved her leg. She wasn't trying to kick me, she was just shifting position. Pick up. Good girl. I'm going to ask her to pick up her leg again. And this time I want to position it. Give me your leg. Nope. You need to be able to position your cow's leg in the stanchion. Good girl, Pansy. There we go. This is why I pick up their feet as calves. It's been a while since I've handled hers extensively as I should have. But she still knows all this stuff. So she gets it. She, it comes back to her pretty quickly. There, that's all the washing I'm going to do. Now I'm just going to dry her off so that she gets used to throwing both wet and dry towels. And actually this washing and drying, well, and just handling her udder generally, will even help her when she has a calf because that way it won't be as strange to have something nuzzling and bumping her back there. Now I'm going to put some lotion on her just to get her used to it. We like to put lotion on our cows, not everybody has to. There we go. She didn't mind that a bit. All right, good girl. I don't want her to move 
her leg that far back. Come on, girl, take it. Good girl. That was a lot better. Now I'm just going to pretend like I'm going to milk her. side a little bit to get the loose hair off. I just quieted the bucket around under her a little bit while I handle her teeth. She kind of looked back at me, but not bad. Good cow. Good girl. Now I'll do it again. She just needs to get used to the idea of having something rattling around under there. Having someone messing with her. Nope. Move your leg. That's normal. This is why you do it training instead of with a full bucket of milk. Good girl, Pansy. There we go. All right. Now I'm gonna be a little more vigorous. Nope. That's not what I want. Move your leg. Like I said, this is why you train. Easy girl. Good girl. Move your vigorous again. Nope. Move your leg. You put your leg where I want it. Nope. wait for her to put some weight on there so that she's not poised ready to kick again as soon as I touch her. Nope. One way you can get her to put weight on the leg you want is to pick up the other one. There. Alright, now we'll try this again. Notice now I'm not sitting on the stool. I'm off to the side here where she can't kick me. That's better. Oh, she kicked. Good girl. Good girl, Pansy. It's perfectly normal for them to kick because they're just not used to this. Good. I think that's enough for one day. I'm just going to try one more time with the bucket under her. Good cow. Good girl, Pansy. All right. Now I'm just going to back her out of the stanchion and put her back in the pasture. Okay, thank you. Now once she learns that the food is in here, I hopefully won't have the leader in and out every day. But until she learns the routine, it helps to get up close to her. Come on, Pansy. It's time to go. I'm just going to tap her nose. And there she backs out. Go on in there, Pansy. Good girl. There's a good girl. All right. Be a good cow. All right, and that's how you train a cow to milk. You just repeat that frequently, and that way when they come and milk, they already know the routine and they take to it with no problem. Come here, Pansy. Come here, Pansy. Come on, girl. Get up. All right, so here we are on day two of training Pansy to milk. Going to the stanchion more by herself. Come on, Pansy. Come on, big girl. That's right. Me for Dante. Come on, girl. Good girl, Pansy. Oh, Pansy. Nope, we're not overshooting the stanchion. Thanks. Go on. Good girl. There you go. That was really good. No Dante. Me for Dante. That was good. Now, this morning has been a little on the crazy side, and I forgot to bring out the towels and wash water and buckets, etc. So I'm going to leave her here to think about things and eat her alfalfa, and I'm going to go inside and get that stuff. Well, I'm back out here now. I've got the wash water and the bucket. And actually, what I'm going to do now is take away some of her alfalfa, because she's been doing really well in the stanchion here. 
And now I want her to figure out that she's actually held in there and she has to stay. Instead of just that she wants to stay because she gets fed. So I'm going to let her kind of finish that up and figure out that she's stuck here. And first I'm going to move her leg. Good girl. That's a lot better than yesterday. I'm going to move you down there. Move a little... I've just placed her leg in a position that's comfortable for her. There's no reason she needs to move it because she's uncomfortable. Nope. But it's in a place where I can easily get to her otter. No, can't. when they feel something on their leg is to kick. But she just needs to get used to me placing her leg when she's in the stand. This is why you train. So this doesn't happen when they're in the I want her to put weight on that leg. So I'm going to go this way. And right, now she's got some weight on it. She does not need to move her leg to make herself comfortable. Now, she's just about out of hay. And now we're going to find out She's really being a good girl, or she's just happy that she's got food. Wash her under, good girl. Just keep it there for a second or two. Wash. If she reacts, then keep it there the whole time that she's reacting. Probably not going to uh, be too thrilled about staying in here. I'll dry her. Go pepper. Go girl, so easy. She moved her own leg. Since she's got her leg that far back, that means she's going to move it forward in a little bit. So I'm just going to move it for her. Nope, you don't need to kick. I just want her to get used to having her leg in that position where it's good for me to milk. It started pouring down rain, so we'll see how this goes. And now she's figured out that she has no food and she's stuck. And this is when they usually react. She's going to try to back out. This is why it helps have a good sturdy stanchion. Good. She's soft. Good. Good. Okay. Basically, I just want her to get used to the idea that she has to stay here. It's not an optional thing. She does have to stay. You want the stanchion to be a pleasant place, but you also want the cow to know that she is required to stay in the stanchion as long as you want her to. It's not an option for her to back out and decide she's through. So I'll just give her a little bit of time to figure out she's stuck. And then I'll go to milking her. So after that, I'm milking her. Good. Now I'm going to go ahead and give her her feedback. She stopped trying to back out, so now she gets rewarded with her food. And we'll just do that a little bit every day until she's trained here. All right. Now yesterday, she did not appreciate it when I vigorously shook her out around like this. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. First, I'll put some lotion on her. Get her used to this. Notice she's kept her leg in the same spot. That's exactly where I want it. It's far enough back that I can easily reach her whole letter without having to reach around like this. But it's not so far back that it's uncomfortable for her. So she doesn't feel the need to have to move it. It might feel a little odd to her to have it that far back, but it's not. If it was back here, she'd feel like she's had to move it forward, but right there is perfect. Okay, so I'm going to let her know the bucket's under here, and I'm going to bump it on her legs a little. Good girl. Notice I'm not going to sit there and bump it on her legs for two minutes. I'm just going to tap her just a little, just so that she gets used to the idea of it being there. If she didn't react, so I'll pull it away. Good girl. 
Now, I'm going to stand to the side here. Now, ultimately, you're always going to have to do some training when they actually come into milk. It usually takes them a while to learn to let down their milk. Um, so just stand there as long as necessary. So I'm not going to keep her in here the full length of time that it takes on milking. But they will learn. Good girl. No. Bad girl. Because she moved her leg right as I was pulling my hand away, I immediately put it back so that she doesn't. She's going, if she's uncomfortable with me handling her udder, she's going to try to figure out a way to get me to stop. If, if she kicks and I pull my hand away, and that teaches her, oh, you kick, they stop doing it. That's not what I want her to learn. I want her to learn, and it doesn't matter how much she kicks, my hand stays there until she quits kicking, then I'll pull it out. Good girl. That was quite big races, like this. Good girl. She's doing much better than yesterday, even though she's almost out of feet. Now she's completely out of feed, or almost completely out of feed. Good girl, Good girl. I'm going to get her used to several motions of milking. I'm going to get her used to squeezing on her udder like this, and also to stripping on it, like this, pulling on the teeth. Alright, girl. Like I'm milking, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze on all the teats. Squeeze, easy girl. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. She's doing very, very well. Good girl, Pansy. And she's out of food. She's just kind of standing there, taking it all in, listening to the rain, filling me milk. Now I'm going to strip. Just basically just pull down on the teat gently, like this. With the motion, you close your fingers on it and slide down. Close and slide. Close and slide. Close and slide. See? I'm going to do it on all the teats so that she's fine with me milking all quarters once she comes in milk. There we go. She did great with that. Even without having food, I'm going to turn her loose. Here we are again, Pansy. It's been a few days since I've done any training with her, or really any handling of her at all. But I think she's going to do this part. And she's got her leg in about the right spot, but I'd like it to be just... Really, that's just fine. I was considering moving it in so that it was a little more comfortable for her, but she's all right there. If she wants to move it later, I will position it for her. So. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe her down without any preamble. Good girl, Sandy. I'm going to go ahead and wipe her the whole length of time. There we go. Now, if I was milking her, she'd be probably nice and clean now. Or at least real close to it. She seems just a little antsy with that leg so far away, so I'm going to pick it up. Good girl. Let me put it where I want it. Most cows have the most trouble with is letting you pick up their foot and letting you hold it until you put it where you want. That's still a little stretched back here. So I'm going to move it forward just a little bit. This is a very good part. See if it gives her more opportunities to let me handle her position. There we go. I'd like her to be a little easier to position her leg, but that's really about how even a good milk cow will usually do that when you position them. So really, if she never got any better than that, that would be just fine. So now I'm going to dry her off. And actually, my drying towel is a little damp, but she's doing very good with that. 
Good girl, Pansy. So far, she's acting like an old broke girl. She's doing just fine. Easy, baby girl. She just moved that other leg. Let's get a Let's come forward. And this is a little bit risky. Lean this far under the cow and move the leg. Because sometimes when you try to pick up one leg, they'll kick with the other one. But I think she's going to be good. Come on. Give me your leg. Now with a heifer this small, it's a little hard to milk them because their udders are so small at this point. But she's not moving her legs at all. Her feet are just rock solid right where I put them. That's perfect. Okay. She's a good heifer. She's letting me strip her and also squeeze on all her teats. And now for the real test, which is that vigorous shaking. Good girl, Pansy. I'm just going to do it for a second or two. Good. Not moving her foot at all. Good girl. Okay, that was really good. So, of course, when she comes into milk, of course, she'll have to be trained uh, fully. But really, there's not really any more than this that you can do. And it would kind of be pointless to keep trying with her because it's going to be at least 10 months before she comes in milk since she's not even bred yet. So I'm just going to, um, I'll probably just stop her training here for a while. I'll put her in here every once in a while just to remind her. Of course, she's having an argument with Stanton right now for some reason. But Let's see how she handles this now that she's being real antsy. Steady there, Pansy. Good. Look at that. That was... That's exactly what you want them to do. As soon as I touched her udder, she immediately calmed down and went back to eating. Well, how about that? That's great. Alright, so... Anyway, I'll probably not keep doing this every day for a while. Um, I'll just let her stay out there in the pasture and... Put on some weight and um, just live. And then when she's bred and she's getting close to coming in the milk, that's when she'll need a little refresher course here. Basically, exactly the same thing we just did. And that'll give, that'll give you a good opportunity to handle her and uh, make sure she's getting what she needs as far as her feed and everything. train a heifer to milk. We'll just keep that up and I'm sure that she'll be a wonderful milk cow. Any heifer that handles pre-milking as well as she does should be a good milk cow.